I know I've been away for a while, but things happen. I'm not going to go into it. There's no point. But I'm, I'm here now. So this episode, I thought I'd give a little chat, give a little roundup of um, this is going to be a rugby one in general of uh, round five of the European Cup. Just my thoughts on it. Uh, because I felt the urge. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but it was like, ah, oh, I could never get everything organised to do it. But I'm on the bike now. So I thought I'll have a chat on the way home from work. About this weekend's rugby. Um, because, um, I mean, obviously from a Scarlet fan's point of view, this, Euro- this season's European Cup has been, or European Champions Cup, Call it his correct name. What are you doing here? Um, from a Scarlet fan's point of view, has been obviously very disappointing. Um, we've had two years of building, and then this season is just as a lot of things happened. Um, I'm going to go into that in another video. This one is more um, just about sort of like in in general. Uh, what I enjoyed from this round of games. Um, obviously, Scarlett played Leicester. It was a bit of a dead rubber, but it's always nice to have our friends from Leicester down. Uh, there's always that feeling, even when there's nothing on the game. It, it, it's um, There's a lot of history between the two clubs uh, and respect both ways, I think. Um, Fans do tend to enjoy each other's company, uh, and the same was true again uh, this weekend. Uh, what can you say about? I mean, the, the the talking point from the Scarlet's point of view, Ken Owens. Ken Owens. What can you say? Um, he's been asked to fill in at number eight, and he's done it now on two or three occasions. And, I mean, dare I say it, he, he's played better than any of our actual number eights. <laughs> Which, it, it kind of asks then, I mean, I, I don't want to touch into just Scarlet things here, but we, we'll touch on that on a specific video, I think, just for the Scarlets. But you've got to ask a question, is like... Where, does he carry on playing there? <laughs> Even though when the other guys get fit again, he's performed the best so far than any of other ones. So um, I hear talking to myself when people walk past. <laughs> um, so, but other than the Scarlet's game, moving on, it's a tight call for the game I enjoyed the most from this weekend. Um, because you had a humdinger. I think it was Friday night. Um, between Gloucester and Munster. <clears throat> and uh, it was everything you wanted to see. Even you know, from a neutral point of view, that game just you couldn't take your eyes off it. The intensity was there. The way Munster played, I was just oh, I, I was in awe. Um, it's particularly hard for a Scarlet fan to see a team playing like that in Europe uh, with Tyburn playing like he does. Ta-da, boys! Um, me just negotiate this round about no. Tagburn was everywhere, and to Scarlet fans, it's no surprise because we were used to those performances 
seeing him doing them in a scarlet shirt. Um, every ruck he was hitting, he was a nuisance everywhere. He carried line out, everything. It was fantastic. But across the board, I mean, it, w it wasn't just tag all the Munster players to a man. I mean, that's no easy place to go. You've got to be on top of your game to go, to go in front of the shed and get a result. And it was every meaningful um, skirmish. The Munster came out on top. Even if they didn't at first, they got straight back and won a penalty. Or, you know, every little bit of headway Gloucester tried to make, Munster just snuffed them out. So I was really impressed with Munster. Um, but you... <laughs> And, I, and that would have, normally, that would have been enough to get my vote for the best game of the weekend. But, if you go to Toulon, I know Toulon are out of form, right? But in fairness, Gloucester ain't that great shakes, are they? So, but to go down to Toulon for Edinburgh and do what they did, fair play. Because um, Toulon must have thought, oh, you know, we're out of form, but we got Edinburgh here. We're gonna, we're gonna get some confidence back by beating these well in front of our home fans. And it's uh, Edinburgh just stood firm, and, and they were fantastic. I only saw the highlights of that game, so. But even uh, so, perhaps it's a bit unfair to Munster because you know, I'm going on highlights from um, the Edinburgh game because I didn't catch it live. But still, I mean, I thought it was fantastic. That try, the breakaway try, uh, I forget his name now, Matt, Matt uh, is it Fijian Lock? I forget his name. But the offload to him, uh, to the player coming in on the inside, was just sublime. It was liquid rugby. <laughs> it was beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, most of the games that were on. I enjoyed the Cardiff-Glasgow game as well. I thought there was two good sides there. Having to deal with extreme conditions. So, um, yeah, I mean, despite my own side not doing very well this season, I've still enjoyed, I've still enjoyed um, a lot of the rugby. Um, so, I mean, I don't know where the Scarlets go now, but I'm going to make a, a separate video about the Scarlets uh, during the week now, about where they are this season and what have you. But I just thought I'd share that with you uh, about how I enjoyed, how much I enjoyed round five of the European uh, Champions Cup. Um, and it, if you've got to ask, there's a lot of uh, talk on social media at the moment, particularly in Wales, about this, is it CVC? This deal for 200 million that the Premiership, the English Premiership has done. Um, and you've got rumours abound that the Welsh clubs, there's some sort of negotiations maybe in the background of them leaving the Pro 14. But you've got to say, and I think whilst I understand that, you know, the reason for, even if they're true or not, uh, for them financially, I don't know. I mean, you look at the performances across the board of the Pro 14 sides, they look the better sides at the moment. Um, so, I don't know what's happened to the lights around here, boys, but everything's in the dark. Someone in Fairly hasn't paid the bill, boys. Put a token in the meter. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I'd like to know your thoughts if you've got any, if you care. Because <laughs> um, um, I can't see it myself. This, these sort of things always uh, come about. These rumours about oh, the English, and then I, to be honest, right, fixture list wise, I would much prefer the old fixtures, Scarlets and Cardiff, and we used to play the West Country sides. 
those fixtures are more meaningful. No, no doubt about it. I'm sorry, uh, you know, no offence to any from Ulster, or Connacht or Glasgow, Edinburgh and all that. You've got good sides, but when you see that name on the fixture list, it just doesn't mean anything to the Welsh. That's why the Welsh crowds are down, is in my opinion anyway, because the fi you look at the fixture list and it's like, who are we play in? It doesn't, you know, these are African sides, it doesn't draw an audience we, to us. It's just not, um, it doesn't get the juices going. I mean, yeah, you saw now against Leicester. That was a dead rubber game. There was nothing on it, really, realistically. Yet, everybody was, it was an enjoyable game because it was just old school. Um, and I don't know why that is, and I wish I could change it, but you just can't. So, from a business point of view, you can see why, if there's any sort of uh, chance of an offer to for some Welsh sides of some sort to be put in an English system, we would be mad not to look at it. Um, whether that will happen, I seriously doubt it, um, and I'm quite happy, as much as I don't rate uh, the business structure of the Pro 14, I'm quite happy to be in it, it's, you know, it, it, it could be a lot worse, okay, so, anyway, right, I'm going to go home now, uh, get this up and out. Uh, please let me know, sub subscribe, thank you by the way for everybody because um, I haven't done a proper video for a long time, I've been putting like old highlight videos up and and, uh, and match highlights and things like that up and it's been really encouraging to see all the subscriptions go up um, even though I haven't really been putting effort into the channel so, but I'm going to try and change that now, hopefully I'm going to try and make these more regular now, get more in-depth, have chats, but obviously it does depend greatly on uh, any interaction from you guys, if there's anything you said that you don't agree with, pop a comment in, it would be lovely, um, I'm trying to get, get the channel a bit more polished, um, but for now, those are my thoughts of the weekend. Uh, let me know if there's, if there's a game that maybe I've missed out that I should have watched or should have mentioned. But uh, until then, I'm going to leave you to it. i get this up and out now and um, hopefully make another one. My next video will probably be a bit more Scarlet focused uh, as like a review of the season. Um, to debate my feelings on that and why things are as they are so i'm gonna leave you to all to it now and uh please like subscribe even if you didn't like what it is put a hate down i don't care <laughs> that's what it's there for so i'll leave you to it now and i'll catch you later in the week take care boys Ta -da.